Hello, my name is Hati and I welcome you to the screencast from YCouch. Today I will be showing you how to use Facebook Shimmer in your Android projects. Shimmer is a very handy library that allows you to, as its name suggests, add a shimmer effect to any view in your layout. Let's get started now. I have a blank project open in my Android Studio. The first thing you need to do is add the shimmer library to your project as a compile dependency in the app modules build.gradle file. After adding it, you should sync your project. This will take a few seconds to download, so be patient. Okay. Uh, it's now time to create a new Java class, which uh, will be our activity in the future. So, I'm going to call this main activity. Let me just delete that. Okay. Um, next, create a new layout file that will represent the layout of the activity. Give it a name. Now, I will be showing you how to apply the shimmer effect to an image view, but I don't have any photos, so let me download uh, uh, this uh, photo. It's available in the public domain. I'll just uh, save this to my project drawable folder and call it painting.jpg. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's go back to Android Studio. Add an image view to the layout and set its width and height. So I will use 200 pp for both. Next, set its source to your image file that you downloaded. In my case, it's a uh, painting, which is already available in the draw folder. Now that the image view is ready, it is time to embed it inside a shimmer frame layout. That's the name of the component uh, which makes your elements shimmer. Anything that goes inside the shimmer frame layout shimmers. That's all you need to know. <coughs> Now set the ID of this component to shimmer and set the width and height to wrap content. Finally you should make sure that the image just background is a dark color for the shimmer to work correctly. I will set this background to black. You are of course free to experiment, but I think black works best. That's all you need to do in the layout file. Actually let me increase the size of this to 250dp. This looks much better. So let's go back to main activity and make it extend the activity class. Override the onCreate method and call setContentView to apply the layout XML you just created. Now get a reference to the shimmer frame layout using find view by ID. 
So I'll call this uh, shimmer. You will of course have to do the typecasting because find view by ID always returns a view. Now that you have the reference, you can adjust various animation parameters. For instance, um, I'll set the animation duration now to 2 seconds. The shimmer effect doesn't start automatically by default, so to make it start, when the activity starts, you should pass true to the set auto start method. And there you go. Your shimmer effect is ready now. All you have to do is compile and run your app. I already have my device connected to my PC, so I should be able to load it on my phone now. Yep. So here's the effect. Uh, here's what it looks like on my phone. Um, the shimmer is uh, uh, working, and I'm really liking it. So I hope you liked it too. I hope uh, this tutorial was useful to you. Goodbye.